right, hello everyone. Hello, hello. So this is our first um, online meeting and normally I'm gonna be um, zooming us in at our normal weekly meeting, but obviously this week there was snow and so we um, did not have our normal weekly meeting, but I'm excited about really keeping those of you that are out of town connected um, to us and getting some ongoing training as well. Of course, if you have a local meeting, it's so much better to go to a local meeting as well, but um, this is um, just an extra alternative to get some inspiration and motivation and keep you connected. So I'm excited about that because we are are growing everywhere we're literally booming across the country so it's awesome to see that okay so first of all I want to do is do a couple announcements and then we get into some training all right so um, first announcements is if you earned anything in December you need to turn in the tracking sheets tonight I'm ordering the prizes tomorrow so I need them ASAP um, a couple just promotions that we do monthly for those of you that are new is we do something called pink power days and this is an awesome way to just earn a really cool prize this month the prize is this really cute um, ring and what this is is every day there's seven activities and I just post this on our Facebook group and I'll be emailing it out, but seven activities, you know, they're like settling items, booking appointments, holding classes, listen to the recording, which is this number right here at the bottom. It's the million dollar message. And so it's a message that changes daily. It's inspiration, it's motivation. Um, and basically if you listen to the million dollar message and then you do one other thing in a day, it's called the pink power day. And when you do, so two in the day, it's called the pink power day. When you have 13 pink power days in the month, you get whatever the prize is. This month, it's that really pretty ring. And when you do 26 pink power days in the month, you get the, the prize and then coaching copy with your director. So that's a really cool way to just reward activity. Um, the other thing that I'm really wanting us to track this month is our faces and how many people you share with. And so I posted this on our Facebook truth. Facebook page too. It basically you're tracking faces. What I like about it is it tracks your sales. So I know and I can help you to know if your averages are right on or if they're, you know, too low. And there's probably something that we just need to have a coaching conversation and talk about. And then over here it says, um, opportunity. Did you ask her whether she'd be willing to just listen to the opportunity? Do 15 faces. Um, you get a cute little charm to add to your charm bracelets. And then if you do 30, it's a power start. So it's awesome. So those are those two things. And then um, the other thing is, in case you don't know, a lot of you may be new that are listening to this, but we are working on a huge goal this year, and our seminar year um, goes from Ju July to June, and that's to be a million dollar unit. And there, there's for those, I mean, most of us are in, a lot of us are in Colorado, and so we're going to be the first million dollar unit in Colorado. It's not happened, and so we believe that we can do it. Last year we did eight hundred thousand, and so we're going to have our best year ever. And to do that, um, it really means just uh, we have a lot of consultants that are selling and moving up and really achieving their goals. That 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 that's really what that means. And so it's a huge deal. Last year I think there were only four or five million dollar units in the entire company, and so this is a big deal. And and so, and those of you that are not local, you still count towards all that and you can still um, get the recognition of being part of a million dollar unit, which is so powerful being part of something bigger. So just know you're part of a winning team who's got a lot of great things going on. So right now I'm wearing this really cool cheat t-shirt. It says, this is what million looks like. And you can earn the t-shirt this month by ordering at least 600 wholesale. Um, and so, and then, or getting into your red jacket, which I'm going to talk about tonight. And then the other thing is, is along our goal of earning our being the first, first million dollar unit in Colorado, um, we are have to do 50,000 wholesale this month, okay? So that means everything you order counts towards that, okay? Everything you sell counts towards that. Every new team member you have counts towards that. And so I'm giving away cash in the month of January, and I'm giving away $500 cash when we reach our goal. And so you get an entry for every $200 that you order. So if you order, I don't know, $600 is three entries, but when you order a thousand or more, you get 10 entries and then, you know, an entry for every thousand or 10 entries for every thousand. So if you do, if someone comes with inventory or you guys get your tax returns and you want to um, invest in inventory, now's the time to do it. So basically I'm going to be giving away that cash. And then the other way that I'm giving away cash is you get an extra hundred dollars cash when you go on target for your car this month. And I'm going to, talk about that tonight too, what that means, but usually you're going to be getting between 750 to 850 in commission from Mary Kay in addition to your sales. So get an extra hundred for me. So you'd be looking at around $950 just extra this month in addition to your sales for going on track for your car. So we're going to talk about that. So those are the promotions that I'm doing this month. So get excited. It's going to be a great month. Okay. So those are the announcements. So what I'm going to talk about tonight is 
really the power of goal setting and setting a new goal for the new year. Now, some of you are brand new. Well, guess what? You get to set a new goal for your business and where you want to be in your business and in life. And the beauty of this business is that you can go after anything you want in this business. And I'd encourage you to go after it all. If it's available, why not go for it, you guys? If Mary Kay is offering this huge buffet of things, why would you just settle for salad when there's steak and there's you know, mashed potatoes and there's dessert. Why not have everything that this company has to offer? And I ch I'd encourage you to go after your goals this year, okay? So I'm gonna talk about the skill of goal setting, setting a goal that fires you up, that you can get excited about, and then what that looks like and um, how to make sure you not only set the goal, but reach the goal. Because there's, we all can say goals, but reaching them is a whole other com or another conversation, right? So we're gonna talk about that tonight. First of all, You've got to let go of whatever happened in 2016. And so I, the first question I want you to ask yourself is, what do I need to let go of in 2016? Because usually we hold on to some things that passed and maybe didn't happen. And those of you that have been in for a while, if you've said before, you know, I'm going to earn my red jacket or I'm going to go on chart for my car and then it didn't happen, we tend to hold on to that baggage and think, well, I said that goal before. And so, you know, it's not going to happen this time. Where you've got to let go of the past. And so the first question is, what are you going to let go of the past? And I posted some pictures, some questions on our Facebook group um, that I encourage you to ask yourself and I'd really love to talk to you about these because they're powerful and that's the job of a mentor is to work through those with you and so the other question was what distracted you in 2016 and what doubts or limiting beliefs held you back in 2016 because really the name of this game is it's right here between your ears. You know, this business is right here between your ears that our limiting beliefs and our doubts will literally paralyze us that we've got to face them, talk through them. And then, you know, just, move forward even though we're scared and we're nervous and really work on replacing those and changing those limiting beliefs and you got to talk about them first right so the other thing about 2016 is I want you to celebrate your wins what great happened in 2016 what was a win for you that that happened in 2016 because I want you to learn the skill of celebrating yourself so many of us as women are so hard on ourselves and we can write a whole book about everything that we've done wrong and do you know that when you're hard on yourself it actually depletes you you actually like sit differently and you talk differently and you just feel, you feel gross. You know, you don't feel like you can do anything, but do you know that when you celebrate your wins and you encourage yourself that that literally gives you fuel and it fires you up, you know, and it can be little things like, good job. You got out of bed when you said you were wanting to, good job. You went to the gym today. Good job. You ate a salad for lunch or I don't know, whatever it may be that, that you're, you're working on learn to celebrate your the good okay so what good happened last year what did you learn from last year what what was a win for you and if you just started then pick something non Mary Kay related like you know maybe a, a, a health thing or a finances thing or relationship thing I don't know I want you to celebrate your wins okay so we're celebrating and then we're, we're moving on okay because we are starting a brand new year and what I love about a new year is you get a fresh new start fresh new clean slate you get to start all over you know which is exciting so what do you really want that's the big question what do you want if you could have anything in this business that Mary Kay has to offer and you knew you couldn't fail that's the thing that most women focus on I'm gonna talk about that in a minute but if you knew you couldn't fail what would you go after? What would you go after if you knew you couldn't fail? What do you really, really want? I want you to write that down. I want you to write that down because do you know the only thing that will hold you back is fear and fear is paralyzing. And do you know that fear is actually your brain's um, mechanism to keep you safe, to keep you safe and keep you in your comfort zone and keep you from, you know, not doing something scary and going after something big can be scary in your mind's brain. And so as you get closer to that comfort zone, fear is going to pop up and it's going to say, danger, danger, danger. This is not okay. Um, and, and it's going to try and stop you. But one of the biggest things that I want to encourage you to do is to face your fears and be willing to go for that goal anyways, and be willing to really put yourself out there because so many women are so afraid to fail that they don't go for anything where you have to remember that failure is part of the process that it's really not failing. If you look at every time you don't reach a goal or you don't achieve something, if you look at it as, as a learning opportunity, it's so much more freeing and so much more empowering that there's literally no way you can fail if you're learning every time. You know, you think about 
you probably don't remember learning to walk, but those of you that have kids, you know, you watch a kid learn to walk and they don't just pop out of the womb and know how to walk, right? They, ha they try it and then they fall down. They maybe take one step and then they fall down and then they take two steps and then they fall down. And by falling down, their brain is learning from that and saying, oh, that didn't work. I need to adjust this. I need to move this. Um, try this angle. Try shifting this weight. And it learn your brain learns to walk by falling down. Isn't that interesting that when we become adults, we're so afraid to fail and we, do, we forget that that's how you learn. Anything great that's ever happened in life, has, people had to experience some failures. I and mean, I could give you a gazillion stories of people that are huge successes, huge successes that have also had huge failures. I mean, look at our Trump. I mean, whatever you think about him. Um, regardless, he's a multi-billionaire and he's, he's been bankrupt before. You know that he had to go through that failure to learn how to be a multi-billionaire and be where he is today. And so the whole point is don't be so afraid to set a big goal that you're so afraid to fail that you don't go for something because that's really where you grow. I can tell you that having a goal that makes you want to throw up is a good thing. We talk about that all the time, Mary Kay, having throw up goals and things that stretch you and scare you in a good way motivates you into action because so many women want to set a safe goal and a safe goal is something that they know they can achieve on their own. Um, like let's say you say, oh, I want to be in my red jacket in three months. Okay, that's nice, but that doesn't motivate you into action today. That if you say, I want to be in my red jacket this weekend, you're going to work a lot harder and a lot differently, and it's going to motivate you to work now and to not put it off. Otherwise, we procrastinate, right? And so you've got to have a goal that fires you up and something that scares you and stretches you in a good way. I can tell you, you know, looking back over my career, of 12 years, there's like four or five times where I really went full out for something that scared me to death and I didn't know how it was going to happen. That's another thing is women focus too much on the how. You don't know how it's going to happen and most of us are control freaks so we don't know how it's going to happen. That's really where faith steps in and really where you learn to grow as a person is knowing that you've got to do the work and trust the process. But um. But I have had different times in my career where I've really gone for something big, and I can tell you that it's been the most exhilarating time in my career because it stretches me, and I work differently. I work with focus and purpose and passion like never before because I've made up my mind and because I'm going for something big that scares me and stretches me in a really good way. So there's so much power in a decision and being willing to step out and really go for something big. So I want you to make a decision after tonight's call about where you're about the, the direction of your life. Where where you're headed? What are you doing with this Mary Kay? Are you just playing Mary Kay? Or are you really experiencing everything that this company has to offer? So there's so much power in a goal and a decision. Do you know that a decided heart can literally change the world and conquer anything? But so many women are so afraid to make a decision that they shut themselves down and they paralyze themselves and they don't really experience all that life has to offer. So indecision will kill you. I've seen consultants say, oh, should I go for the red jacket? Should I not? Should I go on target for my car? Should I not? And then basically they go back and forth and they hem and haw and guess what? They do nothing. And so if you don't have a goal, you literally are just going to be wandering around, not really getting everything that you want out of this business. There's so much power in a goal because you work with focus and passion like never before. I'm going to share a story, one of my favorite stories that I like to share a lot when I talk about goal setting and it's, it talks about dog racing and I don't know how much, how much you know about dog racing. I didn't know this at all, but you, you know, the dogs like that, that race around a track and people bet on them, right? <coughs> Excuse me. Um, people bet on them. These are championship bred, um, race dogs, right? And they were born to race. And so, but do you know why they, they run so fast is because they're at the starting gates and there's the, 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 the gates. And then they, they launch this mechanical rabbit that goes out in front of them. And then they open the gates and then they're chasing that mechanical rabbit and that mechanical rabbit, because they're chasing him, makes them run around the track and around the track and in circles because they're following that mechanical rabbit. Right. And that's what gets them to run the race and run really fast. Okay. So this is a true story. This actually happened. It was during a race. The mechanical rabbit went off the race. The, the dog, dogs were racing after it, running, running, running. Then there was some technical difficulty and the mechanical rabbit blew up. It just blew up. And guess what? Do you think any of those dogs, those championship red dogs that have been spent thousands of dollars on finished that race? 
No, none of them finished the race because they did not have that mechanical rabbit that they were chasing. And guess what? They just became normal dogs. They were just walking around in circles, sniffing each other, peeing on the grass, walking up into the stands and sniffing at the, at the, the crowd. And they were just normal dogs because they did not have that rabbit that they were chasing. And so you guys, that's the way it is in our businesses and in life that when you have a goal, you work with focus and purpose and passion. Like never before, when you don't have a goal, you just are kind of Meh, walk around in circles, sniffing each other. You know, they're like the little dogs sniffing each other, whatever, wandering up into the crowds. You know, I saw this happen with Kim last year. I'm so, or last month. I'm so proud of her. She made a decision that she was going to be in DIQ by the end of the month and join us in New Orleans. And I saw her work harder than I've ever seen her work before because she made up her mind that she was doing this and she was figuring it out. And she talked to people differently. She, um, she, we had different conversations. She acted differently and people were attracted to that passion because she knew where she was going and she had direction and people want to follow someone with direction. Okay. So it's a good thing. Don't be so afraid of it. It's a good thing. So I want you to make a decision tonight about where you're headed and I want you to be willing to risk and to risk big because, um, like I said, so many women are afraid to fail that they don't really go for something big. We forget that that's part of the process, that you grow in the process, that it's not about that thing, that it's not about going on target for the car and the extra whatever, $800, $900 you're going to have this month. It's about how you had to stretch yourself, how you had to put yourself out there, how you had to face your fears and be willing to ask people that maybe really intimidated you. And you were willing to be more courageous because you had that goal, that you grow in the process and your confidence grows and your experience grows like never before. And that is the best gift that you can give yourself. You know, I talk about all the time that my favorite thing about this company is the person I become and watching other people build their confidence. But that only happens when they are willing to step out of their comfort zone and be willing to go for something big. And you can only win as big as you're willing to fail as big as you're willing to fail. Do you know that Sean Key, one of our, our vice president of sales, he says that the champion, um, champions believe the risk of victory is worth more than the disappointment of failure. Failure will happen, but the coward lets it become the focus of her attention. However, the champion rises above it. It's normal to feel the fear of failure, but choose to rise above it. That's how you're going to face that fear. Do you know that so many women think that they've got to wait until that fear goes away or wait until everything's lined up in their life or wait until their husband supports them or wait until all the kids are out of the house or wait until all their team members are on board or wait until that job doesn't totally drain them. You don't that they feel like they're waiting and you're going to be waiting forever. That that fear isn't going to go away. You've got to face that fear. And honestly, the longer you wait and put it off, the bigger that fear is going to become. I'm sorry. I'm just telling you right now that you have got to be willing to face that fear. So I'd encourage you to be willing to set a goal and set a goal that scares you and excites you all at the same time. By the way, it has to be something that you're, that you're excited about. Yeah, you're scared about and nervous about, but you're excited about. And it has to be something that fires you up because you are different than everybody else. And what motivates you is maybe not necessarily what motivates me. And you've got to know what motivates you. Maybe it's going on target for your car. Maybe it's getting your red jacket. But maybe it's a trip to Disneyland for your kids. You know, maybe it's... Um, you know, an extra thousand dollars a month so you can buy something for your husband that he's always wanted. You know, by the way, most of us don't work very well to pay down debt. That's not a very motivating, positive thing. So find something positive that motivates you um, because most women won't work just for extra money, but they'll work, you know, for something that, that, that extra money will, will bring to them and what that extra money will do for them and their family. Okay. So find something that excites you, something that's got to be passionate. It's got to be something that, um, I, that, that needs to be a short term goal as well, because here's the thing is, yes, you know, if you know anything about goal setting, you got to have long-term goals and then short-term goals, right? So whatever your long-term goals for 2017, great. I want to know what that is, but I want you to set a goal that's going to fire you up and is something in the next two weeks that you're going to accomplish or the next month tops tops is the next month. Gloria Mayfield Bank says you need to have a right now passionate goal. You need to be something that you're passionate about and something that you're going to do right now because that motivates you into action. Okay. So before I go over, what do you do after you um, set a goal? I'm going to explain a couple of things because a lot of you are new and maybe don't know what I'm talking about when I talk about red jacket or going on target of your car. So I'm going to explain that real, real quickly. 
So Red Jacket or Star Team Builder is, well, first of all, the career path really quickly is when you have one active team member, you're what we call a senior consultant. And you start making commission for Mary Kay, you make 4% commission. Now, when you have three active team members, you're what we call, a, you, you get to wear the red jacket at our meetings and it's a star team builder. It's the first level of management. We make a big deal of you, out of you. And actually at the red jacket level, you're actually joining the top 5% of the company. It's kind of cool. Um, but, and then when you, if you want to go and target for your car, you have five active team members in a month. And your sales and your team sales between um, that month, so your orders and your team's orders equal 5,700 in a month, then you go on target for your car. Okay, so that's on target for your car. I'm gonna explain a little bit more about, about that. But then the next level is um, DIQ, and DIQ stands for Director and Qualification, and it's qualifying to become a sales director like me, and the sales director is the top 2% of the company. And um, those of you that are leaders and people that know that you are meant to lead people, directorship is where you wanna be, um, because you get paid a lot more, and you have a lot more le leadership and influence, which is awesome. And I, it, my, my favorite part about this business is helping other people, and you get to do that a lot more as a director and have more influence and help way more people. Um, and so you have to have 10 active by the end of the month um, to go into DIQ, okay? So to go on target for your car, five, because I'm going to talk a lot about that because I'm looking for six women who are willing to be brave and are willing to um, not just say they want to earn a car because anybody can say they want to earn a car. But, and I know a lot of people are going to tell me that they want to go on target for their car this month, but I'm looking for women who are willing to do it and are women of their word and are going to do it. And so it's five active team members at this month in the month of January. And the average new consultant order is 1,000. And so that means at least five, and I mean, some are going to come with more, some with less. It's just straight up across the board average. And so then your personal order of 600 or more, because everybody as they're, you know, selling and seeing the faces, which I'm going to go over in a minute, you should be at least ordering that. Um, so that's going to hit you at 5,700. And your commission check for Mary Kay, depending on who orders what and what you order, is usually going to be anywhere from 750 to 850. So extra, in addition, to, to your money from your sales. So you're looking at 850 plus I'm giving away an extra $100 cash to anybody because our goal is to do 50,000. Anyone that goes and target for their car is gonna get an extra $100 cash from me this month. So you're looking at an extra $950 in cash um, that you'll get extra this month in addition to the money from your sales. So if that doesn't motivate you, then um, then you can find something else. But um, I just kinda of wanted to explain what that means, okay? so. Set a goal, set something that fires you up that you can get excited about, all right? And it needs to stretch you and it needs to excite you um, and be something you're passionate about, okay? Now, now we're gonna talk about, okay, what do you do once you set a goal? Because it's lovely to say that you want something. It's a whole nother thing to actually do it, right? So here's some things that I've learned about actually achieving goals. Number one is you can talk all day long, you gotta get into action, right? I'm gonna give you an action plan in a minute. Um, but what you do in the next 24 hours will literally determine whether that's gonna happen or not, to be honest. You can tell me, oh yeah, I wanna become a director, oh yeah, I wanna go on target for my car and do nothing in the next 24 hours, well guess what, it's not gonna happen. Because guess what, fear is paralyzing. And when you set a big goal, you're afraid. But the way that fear goes away is through activity. That once you start seeing some faces, once you start doing some career chats, and you share the business with people and people wanna sign up, then that fear subsides because you've had more success, right? Um, so you gotta get into action right away. So what do you do? I'm gonna tell you obviously what, what, you, what, what I would recommend doing, but of course you gotta get the product on people's faces and then um, ask people to just listen. So I'm gonna give you an action plan in a minute, but the other huge, huge, huge things about setting a goal is there's no such thing as a secret goal. If you have a secret goal and you're not willing to tell anybody about it, guess what I'm telling you right now, it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen because there's so much power in telling other people your goals. So the first person you gotta tell is me. So I wanna know that you watch this and that you're joining us tonight or watching the recording and I wanna know what your goal is. What is that thing that fires you up? What is something that, that's gonna motivate you into action and get you excited? I wanna know what that is, okay? So first of all, you gotta tell me and then you gotta tell other people. Those of you that have kids, tell your kids, tell your husband, tell your best friend, tell your mom um, because that accountability is powerful. Now, guess what? Here's why the secret goal thing doesn't work is because here's why is because so many women feel like, oh, well, I don't want to tell people because then if I don't reach it, then then, then what are they going to think of me? And they're going to think I'm a failure and they're going to think this and they're going to think that's guess what? 
I hope this doesn't offend you, but it's so true. Guess what? They don't care as much as you think they care. I promise. If you tell your husband and your mom and your best friend that you're going on target for your car and they don't do it, guess what? Number one, they probably forgot. Number two, um, they still love you. They're probably like, okay, all right, we'll just do it again this month. You know, they don't care as much as we think they care. We tend to put a lot more pressure on ourselves, which is, you know, a good thing in a certain way. But at the same token, it's powerful to tell other people because that's not just about what they think. It's about you reminding yourself and really instilling that belief in yourself that you can do this. Because guess what? Belief is powerful. That if you doubt yourself and don't think that you can do this, um, that will literally paralyze you. And the more, guess what? It's the craziest thing. How you face that fear and that lack of belief in yourself is by saying it over and over again to yourself that you can do this. And so, you know, of course, I'm super scared about doing million. I think most of you guys don't even know what that means, but it's a goal that really scares me and it's really big. And it's more that like this month we have to do 50,000. We've only done that once in 11 years as a unit. Okay. So it's big and we have to continue to do those numbers for the next um, six months. And so it's big. It scares me. And you better believe that there are, there's lots of days where I doubt myself, but I have to be constantly reminding myself, I am a million dollar director. We are doing this. I wear this t-shirt, you know, to remind myself because that's why you tell other people is there's so much power in accountability. Okay. So it's a good thing. All right. So you tell me, you tell everybody, you know, tell everybody what you're doing. If you want to be really brave, put it on Facebook and tell everybody um, because there's power in accountability. The other thing is, is you got to put goal posters up. You got to put pictures of whatever it is that you want everywhere. If you want to earn that free car or that red jacket or whatever it may be, that trip, you better put pictures up of it everywhere so that your subconscious is constantly seeing it and reminding yourself, oh yeah, we're doing that thing because you're, and we're not going to go into all this tonight, but your subconscious is a really powerful thing that when you're constantly seeing pictures of that car, your brain automatically is going to go to work to make that happen. So you got to have pictures of that everywhere on your bathroom mirror, um, you know, on your, in your kitchen, on your phone, you know, I'm in your car. You know, if you really want to have it motivate, you put it over your TV. So every time you go to watch TV, you're like, should I watch TV or should I do something that's going to get me closer to earning my goal or earning my, my car? Um, that it's literally got to be everywhere so that people walking into your house know what your goal is. And that's accountability because um, you're holding yourself to that higher standard. So that's huge. And then one of the other big things is accountability, staying in touch with me and having somebody that's going to be there to help you um, during those tough times. Because here's the deal is I am just going to be 100% honest with you because if you don't know, then it'll paralyze you. Is tonight you can say, oh yeah, I'm going to go and turn for my car. And then tomorrow, if you call some people and ask them for their opinion and they say no, then you're going to, you know, then you may doubt yourself and be like, oh, I don't know how this is going to happen. I'm scared. I'm nervous. I don't know exactly how it's going to happen. I don't know who else I can ask. That fear will set in that it's important, super important that you reach out to me and you have somebody that can talk you through that and say, it's okay, Susie. This is part of the process. It's normal to be afraid. This is what we're going to do. What can we do? And then, and then we, we make a game plan of what we can do. You know, I love being a part of that process. Like just last month, you know, Kim, I know I told you guys, she um, set a huge goal to get into DIQ and she went from, I think two active team members at the beginning of the month to 10. And it was literally like just last, the last couple of weeks of the month that she really, like really, really went for it. And I remember that we talked pretty much every day and there were several conversations of like, Oh, I was really hoping this, this lady would work out and then it didn't. And she's like, I don't know what to do. I don't know who to call Kim. I don't know this can happen. We were talking so that I could help her through that. And say, all right, Kim, no, let, let's like, who can you do this? And the, da, 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 and, and talking her through it, that that's so important. A part of the process is have somebody that you can be accountable to and to have a mentor that's been there. I can guarantee that I have been through anything that you will go through times 10. Um, I'm not saying that to brag, but I'm saying that to, I'm the perfect person to go through when you're feeling those doubts and those insecurities um, and wondering whether you can do that because I, I've been there. I've totally been there. Another thing that will kill you in goal setting at, well, in achieving your, your goals is to compare. You cannot compare yourself to anybody because your journey is different than someone else's. And Susie Q may come in and earn her car in her first month. Great. That's awesome. Yay, Susie Q. You want to be able to celebrate Susie Q, but you don't want to beat yourself up because you didn't do it. 
guess what? If Susie Q can do it, so can you. But if you beat yourself up, remember that depletes you and that totally steals your joy, steals your focus, and it literally will, will, will rock rock your boat. It will not happen. So don't compare yourself. Know that you're each on your own individual, individual journey. Okay. So the last thing I'm going to go over is I'm going to give you a game plan. Okay. As far as what to do, because you've got to get into action, right? If you want to earn your car here, here's what I would tell you is if you want to earn your car this month, I would recommend doing this sheet that you do 30 faces and you're talking to me after every face. And so I can help you make sure that you're getting the sales that you need to be. So your sales are on point, making sure that you're getting the second appointments, making sure that you are um, asking for the interview and that you're, you're working them full circle. We call it and getting everything that you can out of your appointments. Um, so we need to be talking to make sure that's happening. And then I want you to share the business with at least 20 people. I would ask all these 30 people to just listen, but I would say we need to share with at least 20 people. So 30 faces and 20 career chats. That's, that, that, that's what it takes to go and target for your car. And really, whatever you want, whether you just you want to make extra money for whatever, whatever you have, I'd encourage you to, to take that on as your challenge, to, do, to see 30 faces and to share with at least 20 people. Um, this month and tell them, Hey, I'm earning my free car. I'm scared. I'm nervous. And here's what I have to do. I have to do 30 faces. I need to get 30 people's opinion of a product and I need to have 20 people just listen. Is there any way that you'd be willing to just give me your opinion? And so we need to either, if you're not local to me, we need to set up three way calls where we can call. I call you, we call them, we talk to them about the business, right? Or, um, if you are local, then let's get in front of them. Let's meet for coffee. Let's have them come to an event. Let's talk to them and just share. Okay. So all they're doing is they're just giving their opinion of the marketing plan. I don't care if they're interested. If you share with 20 people with me, I guarantee you're probably gonna have four to five team members. Okay. So, um, that's your activity level that I want you to do. If you want to earn um, a free car and go and target for your car. So if you want to be one of those six brave women, who's going to step out of her comfort zone and say, you know what? I'm scared. I'm nervous. I don't know if I can do this, but I, I, I really, I really want to grow and I really want to experience everything that I can out of this business. So I'm willing to do this. And if you're brand new, you can go and target for your car. You could earn your car. You know, this month, the quickest someone, the quickest someone has earned a car is in 19 days. You could earn a car this month so how you earn a car so I told you how you go on target for the car is when you have five active and do 5700 in a month when you do that four months in a row you earn a car and you grow from those five to I think it's 14 or 16 um, active team members and you earn a car so you could just have 16 active team members this month and do whatever it is like 22 23,000 um, wholesale this month between your team and you earn a car why not? It's, it's been done in Mary Kay that it could happen for you. Now, here's the key to all this is you've got to believe that all this stuff that I've been talking about tonight isn't just gibberish, that it's possible for you, not just me, that all the trips and the diamonds and the cars, that's wonderful for me, but it's not available just for me. You've got to believe that it's possible for you too. So that's half the battles. You've got to believe it's possible and then be willing to back it up with activity and be willing to work. Because what I love about this business is that if you want anything and from this business, you can go after it. So if it's available to you, why not go for it? You know, Mary Kay is giving you this big buffet of things that are available to you. And I think I said this earlier, but you know, if you have this big buffet, why would you just choose to eat salad when there's steak and dessert and everything available, why not go for it? That what I want for you more than anything is to get everything you want out of this business, out of this business, not just for the thing, not just for the car or the $950 extra month, which of course I'm sure that'd be nice for all of you, but for the person you become in the process, because I want each of you not to be like me, but I want you to become the most powerful version of you and be the most confident version of you. And I want you to be willing to step out of your comfort zone and do more than you have ever done before. And you each are in different places, but I want you to stretch yourself um, and really experience everything that you can out of this business, because this business has truly blessed me beyond measure. And my, but I always say this, that my favorite part of the business is the person that I become, but that only happened by me being willing to face my fears and step out of my comfort zone and be willing to be crazy enough to believe that that was possible for me too. that those trips and those cars weren't just for somebody up there on stage that I saw, you know, and I, I, I looked up to, but that it was possible for me. 
And then I had to be willing to do the work. And so I want that for you. I want you to get everything that you want out of this business. So what do you really, really want? Let's go after it. Let's make it happen this year. You know, I, I will, um, in this, in the email that I'll send out this video and in our Facebook group, I posted some, some questions that I would love to um, really go through with you because they're powerful. And I'm just going to recap the ones for 2017 that really spoke out to me. Um, but they are to, um, you know, what do you really want in 2017? What's going to be your biggest accomplishment in 2017? And um, what, I'm pulling them up, what are what is the major change that you're willing to make in 2017? What is the biggest risk that you're willing to take in 2017? What are you committed to changing in 2017? Those are the things I want to know. That's what I want to know because that's really what the difference that it's going to make is what are you going to change and do different, right? Because the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results, right? So I want to talk through that with you. I want to know what your goal is so that I can support you and I can run this race with you and I can be your biggest cheerleader. I want to hear from you because guess what? If you're going to, if you will accomplish this, which I know you will, I know you can, we're going to be talking because that's my job as a mentor is to pick you up when you're down because you will get discouraged. You will have times where you doubt yourself. You will have times where you're like, I don't know if I can achieve this goal. That's my job is to be there to help you. But I don't know that you need my help unless I hear from you. So I want to hear from you and let's make 2017 our best years ever personally, our best unit year, our best year as a unit. And then, um, this month to be your best goal personally. So let's start the year off right and let's make some changes and let's really take advantage of everything that Mary Kay has to offer. I believe in you guys. Let's get, let's do this and let's get to work. Bye-bye.